Thank you guys for uh, tuning back in to another episode of Negro News. Breaking news. There's been an arrest made uh, in the alleged, uh, well, the alleged shooter and the murder of Tupac Shakur. Uh, Keefe D uh, has been arrested. I'm not, I'm not going to say his, his, his government name, but they, they got it all out, you know, in the media or whatever. I'm just going to say Keefe D. Um, that's what he's known by, you know what I'm saying, in the streets. But uh, everyone saw this coming. I mean, every, everyone saw this coming. This, it, it, this dude has been on Vlad TV like he's a damn rapper. And all he's been doing is just snitching on himself and incriminating himself. For the longest, I've been watching him on social media, man, talking about, you know, detail for detail, how the, the murder uh, took place and the motives and everything else. And then, you know, not too long ago, I want to say a month, month or so ago, uh, Las Vegas PD, they did a, 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 a raid on his house. They had a search warrant looking for evidence, you know, that would tie him to the murder of Tupac Shakur. Um you, you, you pretty much did a full confession, incriminating yourself. You placed yourself in the vehicle during the shooting. You never specified who was the shooter, but you kind of insinuated you were. Uh, it's just crazy, man. I mean, just the fact that you put yourself at the scene of the crime is foolishness. It's crazy. Um. This dude is supposed to be, you know, a real triple OG from Compton. And I know a lot of OGs. And I can't I can't think of one that would self-incriminate themselves. Um, the ones I know does don't even even engage in conversation about illegal activity. Um, so for him to go out and do it publicly. I just think that he was just asking for a minute. I mean, and to be frankly honest, man, Tupac is loved by everyone. He is a universal icon. You can go in Dominican Republic, they're playing Tupac. You can go in Brazil, they're playing Tupac. You can go to China. Everyone knows who Tupac is. Germany, they know Tupac is revered as the greatest rapper of all time. It's debatable. I'm a Tupac fan. But nevertheless, so to think that that will go, well, really it's a travesty for it to go unsolved this long, but just to think that it will go on just um, infinite is absurd, right? So, um, yeah, somebody wanted justice. I think, you know, I, I even think the police officers who arrested him might be fans. I mean, that's how big Pac was. Um, the detectives might have been fans, you know. Um, it's sad that we lost that brother. I don't know if this brother did it or not. He's innocent until proven guilty, so I don't want to speculate. But I will say, you know, me uh, being from where I'm from, you know, there's a different level of uh, do's and don'ts, if you will. And he did a lot of don'ts. Um I just think that uh, he's kicking himself in the ass right now. Or maybe he just, maybe, maybe, maybe he don't care. Um, now, I'm curious about this. I heard this, um, that they're trying to get Suge Knight to testify. I don't believe Suge is going to testify. Um, maybe he, I mean, because he has, he's, Sugar serving at like a 36 year uh, sentence, um, I think, for the murder of Terry Carter. I mean, maybe he's looking to get a sentence reduced, but Suge ain't. Suge, Suge is not a rat. I don't even think if Suge, why would Suge tell to get back on the streets to be to be just a rat? I, I just can't see that. Um, so we'll see, man. The plot thickens. I think there's going to be a lot of people involved in this that we don't know about. Um, you're talking about Diddy. I'm, I'm not going to touch that. You know, everybody's innocent, innocent until proven guilty. But I believe 
Um, there's going to be a lot of stones being unturned and a lot of finger pointing. And I really want to know the motive. I, I, I want to know, did that stem from the Orlando Anderson fighting at Las Vegas Casino? Or was that it was it more to it? Um, right, uh, right place, wrong time, or wrong place, wrong, right time. I don't know. Um, was it all just set up to be that way? That would Pac would be in that vicinity? Um, I don't. I don't know. But I will say that if he did it, justice will be served. Um, and. Keith D is a triple OG. I mean, he, I mean, 10 years is a life sentence, essentially. You know what I'm saying? In, in the pen at the age he is. He's probably close to 60, if not 60. You know, real late 50s. Probably, probably pushing 60. So yeah, 10 years is just too long, you know. Um, but uh we're gonna see. I, I, I want you guys to leave comments and tell me what you think. Um, make sure you guys subscribe. Um, do you agree or disagree? It's your right, you know, your opinion. But I just think this dude just kept barking up the tree, man. And a bunch of apples fell down and knocked the shit out of his ass. Mm, excuse me. <laughs> Left him the curse. But I'm 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 feeling some type of way because I, I'm a Tupac fan too, and I just can't believe how stupid this guy is. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, you know, stay tuned for the next uh, the next episode of Negro News. All right, I'll let you boy.